here we have one example of the so-called Kelvin generator or water drop experiment. In German it's called Wasserfadenversuch. You will see Faden means a little string and uh, I fill here in water just from the tap and the water will go through little nozzles here and there and will go down in a straight string. So let's see Okay, here we go. And here you see straight yes. string. And look what it, it's doing here after a while. Yes. You have to wait a little. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, it's now well, it's better. So okay, now we see that the string is opening. Can you see it on? Yes, the yes, yes. And here you see there's no there's a string there but through the coil and it starts to spread. And so we can create 10,000, 12,000 volt. I can show it here, for example. Why is it happening? Yeah, let's Why is see. This happening? If Not yet. No, but at this electrometer, I can show that there is so this is creating this. So only falling water. So we Maybe. just to tell you, um, here we do have um, was a stitch bundle of. For example, this water is neutral, and by running through this coil, um, charged particles that are moved, like ions or H2O. Um, molecules, they create a field. This uh, field, so to say, collects, for example, the negative charged particles. So the rest of the water is not neutral anymore. It's positively charged. The water drops. Because I took the negative parts out of the water, so the drops down here are positively charged. And that's why they expand from each other they oh, expel. That makes they sense. Don't. Yeah. So we have one of the charge, for example, positive, and here we see, see only one wire. That means that this positive charge is led here to this little tiny plates, and so they also want to move away from each other. Ah. Because positive and positive, positive. Yeah. Yeah. And, and minus minus mi minus minus as well. Yeah. But minus and plus, they go together. Yeah, yeah. So we split the charge in minus and plus. And at night you could uh, take a vacuum or a neon bulb here and it would, would flicker. Because it's 10,000 volts. But there is no current.
I can keep my finger here on the coil and look what the string does, the water does. It's straight again. Ah, because then it's getting grounding. Right, because I grounded it. And then it will start to spread after some right. time. Mm -hmm. But it takes some time to, for it to get Yeah, it, It's also uh, depending on is there already charged air here because of a thunderstorm or thunder and lightning. So, If there's a lightning, would it be faster? No, because th there is so much, yeah, you cannot energy, split the charge. Energy. But Victor said maybe with a better order you get a better effect. Yeah. And you can uh, judge the quality of the water. I'll start to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what we do see here is the ionization of water and also ionization of the air surrounding this water string. If you go to a, a waterfall, you have thousands, millions of strings and they create some kind of uh, negatively charged air with the ions in the air. And if you have, for example, asthma, you go to a waterfall or you go to the sea where the water is yes. spread and, and then you can breathe better. Uh, your, um, yeah, it helps you breathing and uh, they took children there to the waterfall, Kremler Wasserfälle in Austria, and at the same uh, level uh, on the other side of the mountain and only the young people who were at the waterfall could breathe better, the others not. They, there was no That's change. Amazing. And so the water somehow is energized, um, it, it is charged negatively and helps you breathing. This old photograph from 1935 shows an apparatus where Victor Schauberger wanted to create spring-like water. And uh, what he did is what nature does since the beginning. Water rains down, falls down on earth, it wanders into the earth, then is cleaned, regenerates, wanders meandering up the mountains, taking minerals with it, and then up there is a cold spring with wonderful water. So this way of cleaning and then regenerating and meandering and minerals, he put in one apparatus and he could create from normal tap water a spring-like water in the 1930s. And that leads us to our days where we do have only the half cycle, the meadows, everything is paved, the big machines, artificial fertilizers, etc. The water cannot go into the ground. It is running on the surface to the next river and cannot regenerate. That's why the quality of water nowadays is less good than it was maybe 100, 150 years ago. Because they, there's no forest anymore, that's why? No forests, no uh, circulation, no full cycle of the water where it can rest, where it can clean itself, where it can take minerals with and cool down. Yeah. Very interesting that at the very top of the mountains there are springs where there are no more trees but the water is near 4 degrees Celsius where water is the heaviest at 4 degrees. How come that the coldest water that is the heaviest water is on top? My water is 
your water, your 